Colorectal cancer. Start the conversation. Awareness is the first step. Did you guys hear about Roger? Yeah, I did. I was shocked when I heard. I didn't know he was sick. So guys from Montgomery Blood? What happened to him? I guess his doctor found a mass in his colon. They did some tests. I guess he had an advanced type of colorectal cancer. Unfortunately, there was nothing they could do because it spread through his whole body. Yeah, the sad part is, I guess he always refused to prevent other screenings. I guess he never thought it happened to him. What do you mean by preventative screenings? Well, screenings look for cancers and precancers in people without symptoms, like a colonoscopy. Really, that's the best early detection out there. My doctor told me that if you find it early, it makes it easier to treat. She also said that people should start getting screened at 45. Being a firefighter and having a family history, I should probably get screened sooner. There are a lot of different options out there, not as invasive as colonoscopy too. My doctor sends a test to my house, I take it, mail it back, and I, my doctor gets the results in a few days. It's fairly easy. Ah, it's like I got a lot to look forward to. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, man, awareness is the first step, and if your lines are working, you never be too careful. Talk to your doctor about your risks for colorectal cancer. Prevention, screening, and early detection could save your life or the life of someone you love. This public service announcement is supported with funds from Health Research Incorporated and the New York State Department of Health with funds from the CDC in conjunction with Montgomery County Public Health. Prevent, promote, protect. For more information on colorectal cancer screenings or colorectal cancer, you can visit the websites listed below.